Everyone here at Queen Park University has visited the library at University Center one time or another. With its beautiful marble columns and stairways, glass skylight, and gorgeous bronze clock that hangs far above on the ceiling, the building is exceptionally hard to miss. And most of us know that at one time, this beautiful majestic building once held a bank. Of course, this fact is evident from the numerous traces of the bank that still exist. Vault doors and iron bars help to make up this beautiful personality for the several lounges and offices that utilize these doors as decorations. But past that, how much do we actually know about this building? Can any of the students that grace its marble halls actually name the person who built the bank? No, I do not. Or the name of the building's original owners? No. Uh, no, I do not. Needless to say that while the building and traces of its for former financial history are readily evident, the real past behind it is not. The University Center was originally designed and built by Frederick J. Osterling in 1902. It was originally owned by the Colonial Trust Company and had the noteworthy honor of having the longest open bank lobby in the world. The building was built with the intention of creating a temple of finance that would rival any similar buildings on Wall Street in New York. For a number of years it operated in this capacity. During the 1970s, however, the building was bought up along with it, the building surrounding it and turned into a shopping center known locally as the Bank. Unfortunately, this project was not able to sustain itself and the bank closed its doors in 1987, leaving this wondrous building empty. Fortunately, this disuse ended in 1990 when the building was donated to Point Park University by Edward Ryan, whose real estate company, Ryan Homes Incorporated, was in p possession of the building at the time. Planning and refurbishing the building took several years and involved the help of the Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh, who jointly operated the library with Point Park University until 2004 when they let the contract expire. After the CLP left Point Park, Point Park added classrooms to create the building we all know and love today. The story of University Center perfectly shows that the use and history of buildings most certainly change over time and how interesting it is to be surrounded by such large amounts of history.